of um, options you have inside your um, settings on your iPad. So if we have a look under here, we've got stuff like reminders um, and we've got notes. Pretty simple sort of stuff. Notes is, you know, the general generic notes app that you've got on your iPad. It takes place. Majority of people use it still. Um, if I go down to um, reminders and that sort of stuff, again, it's something that people generally use. Um, depending on how good you are at setting the reminder yourself. Um, messages are something that, of course, your iMessages set up. We'll go through that a little bit later. Um, it's probably the most convenient way of getting messages for free from your iPad. Um, but, you know, it, it's one of those things that you're, it's one of those value adds. FaceTime, of course, um, this is basically the calling app um, that Apple has inbuilt and it's got all the different numbers. People can either phone me via FaceTime, they can send them, you know, call me via my iCloud account, call me via my mobile me, you know, it can show all that sort of stuff. Maps, pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is where you get to change the distances and labels and what sort of, you know, um, configuration settings it is and Safari of course this is your where you get to set up um, your particular features and that sort of stuff and we're going to go through these in a lot more detail in a couple of new um, tutorials that I'll put together because there are some specific stuff you want um, inside here on the um, um, Apple ID and iTunes stores this is my Apple ID for that um, it'll automatically do um, downloads if I ask it to from these sort of devices using that Apple ID music um, this is where it gets to set um, specifics about home sharing and that, which we can go into later. Videos, um, it sort of sets where it left off and that sort of stuff. If I go back into a video, um, camera and photos, this is where I can change my photo stream. Photo stream means that when I take a photo on my iPad, it'll automatically allow it to my um, iCloud account. And from there, I can set anybody to be able to see it. Um, it just creates a web URL. Um, or a web um, website that people can go and look at those photos. Um, great, great feature. Um, you just need to be happy that the photos you're going to take, um, you want other people to see. So t take your pick. Um, iBooks makes pretty much um, the same amount of sense. So in other words, with full justifications, different settings. Um, so when people sort of say you can't customize an iPad, you're like, you know, there's, there's a heap of stuff you can do. Um, podcasts, all those things in here. iTunes U for us. Um, you know, it sort of brings up all sorts of different features. You can, your Twitter is integrated now. So my Twitter account is there and it's used. Uh, my Facebook is integrated. Um, but I don't usually have it as um, something that requires a sign in on here. Um, it's usually handled within the app. And then it all goes down into see you can um, customize each in particular app itself. So um, it totally depends on what you want to do. And every app has its own customizable versions and all those sorts of things um, that you can turn on and off and configure and not configure. So um, that's pretty much the settings section um, to do with all of this. Um, check out the more specific things like um, that is in the other sections of the website.